It's Thankful Thursday. Y'all come on in here right quick. And today's quick. I'm, I'm just going to be real quick with it. Um, I just wanted to say that I'm thankful for all of these extremely hard working people that work these jobs that others would consider, you know, not so glamorous. You know what I mean? I'm talking about number one, fast food workers. Anybody that works in the food industry, really. I've never worked in the food industry, but my God, I cannot even imagine the type of stuff that y'all have to go through. My sister used to work in the, in the food industry and the things that they have to put up with with these people and their senses of entitlement and rudeness is just beyond me. I Mad props. And anytime I go to any food um, place, whether it's fast through, I'm hitting the drive through, or I go in and sit down, if, you know, the waitress or waiter are, are kind to me, I make sure and tell them. I tell them, you're doing a great job. You're very kind. You're very sweet. This is a pleasant experience. Um, you're doing awesome. Keep up the good work. Because they don't hear that often, okay? And uh, people that work at the dipstick, they change my oil. You know what I mean? I pull in, they change my oil. Very appreciative. Sanitation workers that pick up my garbage every week to keep our neighborhood looking beautiful and clean. Thank you. I appreciate you. All of these jobs that people work, they, like I said, some people would consider them, you know, not glamorous or whatever. But um, they all keep this world running. You know what I'm saying? And we all benefit from their hard work. So you need to be a little more appreciative and kind um, to people in those type of professions because they get up every single day and they work hard. They work very hard. And just because they don't have some fancy degree or, you know, um, paid for some four or six year college doesn't mean that they are not highly educated um, and, you know, smart people. They are working these jobs um, maybe as a means to an end. Maybe that's the job they want, and that's fantastic. I, I encourage you to do that. But I just want to say that people that get up every day and work hard and put everything that they got into their job, I highly appreciate you. This country was built on men and women who got up every day, you know, and, and worked hard. Men getting up every day, putting on work boots and picking up a tool belt. Women doing the same thing. I'm not being sexist saying only men wear tool belts. Women do too, so don't even go there with me. Don't come for me in the comments, okay? But someone like myself, I don't, ha I don't even have a high school education, honey, real talk. I quit school in the eighth grade. I did. And I got a full-time job when I was 15 and moved out. That's my life. But right now, I work for a multi-million dollar company. And I'm talking like half a billion dollars a year. This is a, a, a huge company that I work for. And I have a pretty high position within this company. But all of the business sense that I have and all the professionalism is self-taught. I taught myself how to navigate this world because I wasn't given um, the opportunity to be able to, you know, finish school and go to college and things like that. I, I was raised school of hard knocks, honey, so I had to just figure it out, you know what I mean? Um, I was 19 years old, single with two kids, okay? We had to get some shit done. And so the people that get up and work every single day and put their all into everything that they have, whether that's the job that you want or that's just a stepping stone for you to get to the goal that you're trying to reach, I'm here for you. I support you. I'm appreciative of you. And y'all should be doing the same. Thank these people. Be good.